Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Eastman and I'm back with another story. And so this time we're just going to do some fun ones, alright? This is called Falling for Rapunzel, Leah Wilcox illustrated by Lydia Monks. And I don't know if you know the real story of Rapunzel. She is a princess up in a tower and she's being held there. So she wants her prince to come and save her. And she's supposed to let out her long, beautiful braid, her hair, so he can climb up and rescue her. But this story doesn't quite go like those stories that you've heard before, all right? This story's got some twists to it, and not just her braid, ha <laughs> ha. Falling for Rapunzel. So listen to the humor in this, because it's funny. Once upon a bad hair day, a prince rode up Rapunzel's way. From up above, he heard her whine, upset her hair had lost its shine. He thought her crying was a plea, and sallied forth to set her free. she was too far away to quite make out what he would say. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, throw down your hair. She thought he said your underwear. No, Rapunzel, your curly locks. She can't quite hear him. Hmm. Ah, Rapunzel threw down dirty socks. Please, love, just your silky tresses. She thought he asked for silky dresses. In lace and frills up to his head, the prince's cheeks were blushing red. Rapunzel, do you have a rope? Rapunzel dropped a cantaloupe. It burst in pieces on his head. Oh, bad catch, Rapunzel said. Perhaps, he sighed, this is a test. And bound by love, he did not rest. Okay, Rapunzel, how about twine? She heaved out her blue ribbon swine. By now the prince was feeling hammered, not to mention less enamored. He growled up, do you have a ladder? Rapunzel tossed out pancake batter. It covered him from head to toe. She yelled, it's better cooked, you know. At this, the poor prince had a cry, then cupped his hands for one last try. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your braid. Hmm, did she hear him right? Confused, Rapunzel pushed out her maid. The maid fell squarely on the prince, quite pleased with this coincidence. She nimbly jumped off his lap and soon revived the flattened chap. Then smiling said, for what it's worth, you'll find I'm really down to earth. His young heart thrilled. He gave a hoot. For what was more, the maid was cute. She set the prince upon his steed, then leapt behind with graceful speed. And leaning close so he could hear, she whispered something in his ear. I fell for you when we first met. He nodded, 
How could I forget? Rapunzel watched them ride from sight. I'm glad I finally heard him right. I hope if they come back for more, they'll think to knock upon my door. And that's the end. So that story didn't end like the Rapunzel we know. And the communication was a little bit mixed up along the way. I think the maid's pretty happy. She ended up with the prince. I hope you enjoyed that story. Thank you for listening.